President Tinubu must not dishonor the UN verdict on Nnamdekanu's case as Buhari did. IPOB's lead, leader's lawyer, Ejimako. Ejimako said that Nigeria is duty bound to implement the decision of the United Nations in his black letters and spirit. Adding that the Nigerian government under the former president, Muhammad Buhari, was expected to do so promptly, but he dishonored the UN. So now this is happening now. What next? Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for not stopping by. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Barrister Loy Jimako, the special counsel to the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, Nam Kano, has warned President Bola Tinubu against dishonoring the United Nations Human Rights Council's opinion on Kanu's case, as former President Muhammad Buhari did. Ijmako said that in Nigeria is duty bound to implement the decision of the United Nations in his black letters and spirits, adding that the Nigerian government under the former president, Muhammad Buhari, was expected to do so promptly, but he dishonored the UN. You recall that in June, in July 2022, the United Nations Human Rights Council, through an opinion issued by the working group, directed the then President Bola, President Muhammad Buhari led the Nigerian government to free Kano and accord him a pathway to compensation for his infamous extra online rendition from Kenya to Nigeria in June 2021. Ejimako stated that the council in the 19th page opinion stated, the working group considers that Taking into account all the circumstances of the cause of the case, the appropriate remedy would be for the government of Nigeria to release Namde Kano immediately and accord him an a forcible right to compensation and other re, reparations in accordance with international law. Please pardon me. According to him, as a background, the working group of the United Nations Human Rights Council is a quasi-judiciary body that has the legal mandate of the United Nations to receive and adjudicate human rights petitions against member, uh, member nations of the UN. According to, accordingly, its decisions, diplomatically called opinions, are legally binding on all member nations of the United Nations, including Nigeria. He further noted, in addition to Nigeria being a bona fide member of the United Nations, this very UN decision on Mazinam de Kano is primarily predicated on the international covenant on civil and political rights and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights by which Nigeria is legally bound by virtue of its ratification by an act of the National Assembly under Section 12 of the Nigerian Constitution. To be sure, ratification is a means by which a nation makes itself subject to international laws and treaties, and by the provisions of Section 12 of the Nigerian Constitution and the plethora of decisions by the Supreme Court of Nigeria and international tribunals with jurisdiction. Ratification makes every ratifying nation, including Nigeria, subject to whatever it ratified. So this is non-arguable and unavoidable. It must stressed that it goes without saying, therefore, that as a bona fide member of the United Nations and a treaty-bound nation, Nigeria is subject to decisions issuing from the United Nations.
Thus, Nigeria is a duty bound to implement this decision in its black letters and spirits, and it was expected to do so promptly. He said that the advanced copy of the opinion, which was issued on July 20, 2022, was released to him on July 2023, 2022, and that the cover letter bearing the opinion indicated that the working group forwarded the opinion to the Nigerian government on July 22, 2022. Yet the former Buhari, the former president Buhari failed to comply until he left office. Nevertheless, it is never too late to act, even as Namdekano has for three and a half years endured the the horrors, the rigors of detention that is bereft on any legal justification. Therefore, unlike a misguided Buhari, a wiser president, Tunubu, can do the right thing by freeing Namdekano without further ado. He, he does not need any court order to do so because the matter has transformed from the legal or judiciary to the political. And as the saying goes, the bunk stops the president's table. Okay, he's still saying the same thing. The Nigerian government should stop waiting for whatever judiciary, you know, issues or whatever. Get Mazenam the canon's release. They have to, they need to obey, you know, uh, the orders by the UN. Now Nigerian government is going against, you know, uh, what they are even a, a signatory to that treaty. It doesn't make sense. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go. Fire.